in this video, I'm gonna give you a roundup of my favorite summer essentials. I'm also gonna tell you about a few fashion must-haves for this summer. So, shall we get started? What should we start with? Shall we start with skincare or shall we start with fashion? Hmm? Let's start with fashion. This summer is all about bringing back the 90s. Even the makeup trend is kind of emulating that 90s trend. Chokers are these little neck pieces that come right across your neck just like that. It was huge in the 90s. If you're a 90s girl, you would know. But if you're way younger than me, well, I'm teaching you now. It's it. By the way, if you are wondering where I got my earring from, one of my subscribers gave it to me during the Bangalore meetup that I had last year. So thank you Priya, thank you for this. Number two in fashion are flash tattoos. Flash tattoos are so popular this summer. It was really popular last summer as well, but this summer it's huge. People are sticking flash tattoos even on their face, on their neck, on their decolletage, on their hands, the back, everywhere. So if you go to the beach, if you show a little bit of skin, Take on some flash tattoos, okay? I have some flash tattoos right here and I am loving it because see, it's kind of subtle, you don't really see it, but when it hits the light, it's just gonna flash. This one is from Claire's, it was rather quite expensive. I spoke about this in my summer haul 2015, and then I have two packs of flash tattoos from shopmissa.com, and these were just one dollar. And I have to say that I kind of prefer these. Oh, this is from this kit by the way so i have to say that i kind of prefer these over the really expensive i will leave the link of this down below reflective sunglasses are really fashionable this summer i have two different models to show you these are the club masters from ray-ban they've got the silver reflection you get reflective sunglasses in all different colors you get pink yellow blue green multicolor all of that and these are the aviators also from ray-ban you also get these really good aviators in aldo and asos choice all of these online websites forever 21 now let's speak about skincare during winter you can hide up everything in your mufflers and scarves and gloves Huh? During summer, your nails are in display, your hair, your skin, everything has to glow. And I came across these multivitamin tablets called the Hum Nutrition. This one has like daily packs, if I can pull them out. Each pack has three tablets. Let me show you. So you rip them open like this and out comes three tablets two red carpet and one killer nails runway ready vitamin tablets they say that beauty starts from within and i cannot agree more so if you'd like to know what is in these tablets and how to purchase them and all of that i will leave that link down below and also do you realize how long my hair has grown that's it's really untidy because I haven't done it, so excuse that. <laughs> I was really lazy. But once I started having these tablets, my hair just started growing so long, okay? And my nails stopped chipping, so these guys really work. I highly recommend them. I am really, really loving these facial sprays and facial mists. But I'm not really obsessing over the Max 6 Plus and all of those chemicals. You get these spray bottles with pure rose water and you open them like this. Mm. And Ooh, and you spritz them on your face like this, it instantly refreshes you, it refreshes your makeup, it kind of moisturizes your face, it gives you a little bit of skin benefits. I absolutely love it. This one is from Karma Ayurveda. One of my friends gifted this to me. Thank you, Neha. This is the Pure Rose Water Steam Distill. If you've got oily skin, I suggest the Orange Blossom Water. You can get orange, like a large bottle of Orange Blossom in your grocery store because you use that for making sweets. Spritz it on your face, okay? Put it into a spray bottle. Summertime face masks are about clarifying and pore cleansing because you know you're sweating a lot and all of the dust and pollution and all of that. I highly recommend a peel off mask. This one is the apricot and honey peel off mask by Jovi's. I really like it. I also recommend a mud mask. If you are in India, you know, Multani Mitti mixed with a little bit of rose water, applied on your face. It's amazing to purify your pores and all of that. If you are outside India, you can get the Aztec mud mask or even the uh, Glam Glow. I mean, there are so many mud masks in the market. This one is the Sea of Spa Rich Facial Mud Mask. This is directly from Israel. My parents had gone to Jordan last year, so they bought it for me. And I've not used it yet. 
Ooh, who needs glam glow when you get like the real thing? You need this year round, but summertime you cannot excuse yourself. Is a poor strip. This is the one by Biore. I've tried quite a few, but Biore is just the best so far. But if you have suggested the one from Daiso, I haven't used it yet. This is a deep cleansing pore strip. Then another face mask I wanna recommend is the Wipe Me Up Kiss face mask. You know, during summer, how your face just becomes dull because of all that heat and pollution, and this thing just just instantly amps up your face. Buy your Kiss face mask from Kiss. SkincareUSA.com. I cannot tell you how important it is to moisturize your skin throughout the year. Even if it is summer, you guys, you cannot not moisturize your skin. I am really guilty of not moisturizing. I know how gross it feels to have moisturizer all over your body when you're sweating in like a hot, humid summer condition. So that's why you need to have these in shower body lotion they are amazing these are by Nivea this is like the regular one for dry skin and this is the one like soon after sun for with aloe to soothe your skin these things are amazing I also have a Nivea sun moisturizing sun lotion air 50 plus very high it's just a nice body sunscreen you don't have to use the Nivea one I'm just showing you what I use you can use any sunscreen but make sure that you use your sunscreen all over your body this is a Nivea sun Immediate sun protection, collagen protect, SPF 50, PA++, UVA, UVB. Oh my god, that's a really long description. Anyways, this thing is what I used for my recent Cyprus um, vacation and I really liked it on my face. Of course, it is oily and I cannot promise you that it's like non-greasy and whatever. It is oily but you know, the sun is okay. I put a little bit of powder on top and I was fine. Now, let's talk about beauty. I'm not gonna be talking too much in detail about beauty in this video because I've made a full on beauty related summer essentials last year and my thoughts haven't changed about most of those products. So I will leave that uh, video link down below. Now let me talk about a few new products that I discovered. This thing is <clears throat> amazing. I always wondered why we don't have like a powder form of sunscreen. You know that you need to keep reapplying your sunscreen. So nobody's got time to remove all of your makeup and apply sunscreen every two hours and reapply your makeup and nobody's gonna apply sunscreen on top of your makeup because that shit took time to apply, okay? So this thing is the answer to all of our prayers. I know even the brand Peter Thomas Roth Peter Ross Thomas. It is available in Sephora, but that brand also has like a powder form of SPF 30, I believe. It's called the Bronze Protecting Powder SPF 30 by Glow Minerals. This thing is amazing. If you want to buy this, I'll leave the link down below. You just pull down this thing, like a comes like a kabuki brush, and the powder just comes from inside. So you don't have to open and read it, and you just buff it onto your face. The brush can get dirty. But you know, just take an alcohol wipe and just nicely clean your brush. So you don't have to take off your makeup and reapply your sunscreen every two hours and you just apply this right on top. When it comes to lip products, I'm all about the peachy orangey goodness. I feel that winter is for like bold, deep reds and maroons and summer is for peaches. I have a few favorites here. This is the Lakme 9 to 5. This is the Makeup Forever. And this one is the Bourjois one. I have done full on review and swatches and all of this in my lipstick video, which is just up last week. So I leave all of those links down below. I'm not gonna try them out and show them for you right now because I've done it already. When it comes to blushes also, I feel that a peachy bronze color suits everyone. It's more summery and happy and all of that. This blush is a really good one, especially if you are a little bit more tanned like me. This one is by Sasha Cosmetics and this is called Next to Natural. I also really, really love translucent powders because I don't like to apply too much makeup, especially foundations and all of that during summer. All I like to do is apply a little bit of concealer under my eyes and you know, blemishes and all of that and take a little bit of your translucent powder and put that all over your face and set it and you're good to go. You really don't need both of them but I'm just giving you options. So this is the Sasha Cosmetics Buttercup Translucent Powder. I really like it. It's got a little bit of yellow tint to it. And coming to nail polishes, mint is always my favorite. I remember even in my last year's video I spoke about a mint. This one is from LA Colors Color Craze Edition. This is called the Beach Babe. That's what I've got on my fingers right now. I love it. 
And I've also got another favorite from Barry M. It's called Coconut. I don't have it with me right now to show you because it's at my workplace. But I'll insert a picture of it right here. I love white nails, but this one is not like white white. It's kind of like off white. But on your nails, it looks pretty much white. But yeah, it's not like bang neon white guys you need a deal okay but i don't use deals never did use deals so i'm not gonna speak about deals i'm gonna skip straight to perfumes if you prefer something more musky and sexy and inexpensive i recommend the body shop's red musk this one smells so good and what i like is that it's kind of a really tiny bottle so you can just throw it in your bag and you know Ooh. Or if you like a little bit more fancy, luxurious, more fruity, floral kind of scent, I recommend the Signora by Salvatore Ferragamo. This, but guys, before you buy perfume, please try it on yourself, okay? Because perfumes smell different on different bodies. So you guys, that's it for this summer essentials. Can I flash my flash tattoo once more? That's about it for this year's Summer Essentials from Mr. Javita George. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out all the description in the description box. Please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. And I shall see you on Instagram. Uh, yeah, okay then.